y'all. This is gonna be a quick video tutorial on how to set up some fun effects with the June post-processing stack for Unity and VR Chat. Let's start off with an animated rainbow outline. So to get started, you wanna go to your Unity toolbar and make a cube with June. Next, let's go to the outline section of June. You'll find this on the material of the generated cube. As you can see, we have a lot of options. There's also a warning for this effect that it requires a depth light, so we wanna also add that from the Unity toolbar. Next, let's configure some preliminary settings for the outline and go into play mode. Sadly, Unity only has proper depth buffer writing when playing, so we need that to preview our outline. Now you're free to play around with all the settings. We need vibe for the desired effect here, but there's so much more that outline itself can do. After we turn on Vibe, we can adjust the outline spread to control how far the effect is spread out across the outline. We then can configure the Vibe opacity and steps to our liking. We can even make a huge outline, but we don't want it to be too big or else there will be noticeable sharp edges due to performance considerations. It takes a lot to make round stuff, you know. Let's head into play mode to allow depth reading and turn up our opacity on the wireframe. There's a lot of settings here to play around with. Rounding makes the edges not have smooth fall off. Opacity controls how transparent the effect is. Tolerance is easily the difference in vertices are judged. And the width controls the width of the outline effect. The low color controls the background color which can be thought of as the dominating color, and the high color controls the outline color. Finally, let's make a more traditional screen space effect, glitching. This starts off the same as the others, but we don't need a depth light this time. We'll just use the simple glitch mode for an easy setup, but there's an advanced glitch mode as well in case you want more effects and more controls. The simple glitch is split up into three parts. The UV glitch, which shifts the screen around in blocky directions. The chromatic glitch, which gives that old camera color channel effect. And the blocky glitch, which adds overlays of colored blocks supposed to represent dead pixels or missing data, you can customize the strength, amount, and size of each of these glitches. That's it for now, but I'll probably make more quick examples in the future. June has literally hundreds of effects and thousands of settings for you to play with, and it's really easy to get started. Please check it out in the video description.